Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about sun and summer and protecting yourself and the things that I think are the best sunscreen and aftercare, things like that. I have tried quite a few sunscreens. I have two kids so I have to protect them as well as myself and my husband. So we've tried a lot. We've tried a lot of after skin care, kind of the lower range of sunscreen, the higher range of sunscreen, a little bit of both. So I just thought that it would be a cool video to kind of share with you my opinions of certain sunscreens and then maybe it might help you make a decision on your sunscreen this summer. So I'm going to get started first with some of the face sunscreens that I have. Um, I have the Clean and Clear. It's the Soft Oil Free Moisturizer. It has SPS 15. It softens, protects while keeping pores clear. I like this one. It has a really good smell. I'm going to show you um, the textures too. Excuse my hand, but it's stained. So just to show you, like, you know, it's kind of a normal cream. Um, it smells really good. Uh, it's only 15, so if you're not going to be out in the sun very much, but you might be driving or something, I would say this is perfectly fine. I definitely wouldn't wear this if you're going to be out for a really long time, but a little protection is better than no protection, right? Next we have the L'Oreal Paris Broad Spectrum SPF 25. This one is Ideal Moisture. They have several of this line now. Um, it's been out for probably like six months or so, but they have all different types of skin types. Um, if you're oily, if you're not oily, um, aging, not aging, a lot of different types of sunscreen under this bottle that they just have different colors and they mean different things. All of them say that it's 48 hour hydration. Um, this one is for sensitive skin. This one's the day lotion and this one has SPF 25. Now I probably wouldn't wear my sunscreen for 48 hours. I mean you might but for 48 hours to keep it hydrated that's good but more than likely you're going to probably wash your face within 48 hours and you're going to have to keep reapplying. You know, no sunscreen lasts all day. You definitely want to keep reapplying, especially if you're getting wet, you want to reapply. Don't think that one application of sunscreen at 7 in the morning is going to last you until 5 at night. How much? Um, this one is great because this is the probably the first one that, other than the Clean and Clear, that I actually feel is completely oil-free. I don't feel anything because... I have combination to um, in my T-zone really bad and it kind of spreads if I don't absorb it or change it so but some of these areas and especially my chin can sometimes get dry so I'm combo skin but um, I don't have any problem with oiliness with this moisturizer and I haven't gotten burned with it so I really like it and it looks like this just comes out, you know, normal sunscreen color. It has a, like a light, a light fragrance. Nothing overpowering. Nothing that you would probably even smell on your skin just while you're applying it. I think you would smell it. Um, the next one I have, I just recently got because they just came out with this. But this is the Hawaiian Tropics Silk Hydration Face Oil-Free Lotion Sunscreen. This one is in SPF 30. And it says 12 hour moisturization, won't clog pores, UVA and UVB protection. So I was really excited when I saw this because there's another product I'll show you in a minute that I absolutely love by Hawaiian Tropics. Um, or Hawaiian Tropics, excuse me. This one, you can see the moisture versus the sunscreen. So it has a wonderful smell. It doesn't feel oily on your skin. It just feels really hydrating. Um, it smells like tropics, <laughs> Hawaiian smell. It smells, you know, like the beach, Hawaiian tropics. It's kind of like a peachy color because of those ribbons, but they, it doesn't have, you know, like any glimmer or shine or anything like that. They do have one that has, um, shine to it. So it's kind of like putting on your sunscreen, but also putting on body sparkles because it will kind of glisten. This kind of, you know, make, gives it that glow and glitter. Um, I personally don't like that, so I don't have that one. But it smells really good, and so far I have found that it is really great protection. 
Um, I haven't gotten burned. I've been out with it for several hours and it still held up, so I like it. Um, another one is by Hawaiian Tropics. This is um, starting to move more towards the body um, sunscreens. This is Sheer Touch Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, this is water resistant, it says, for about 80 minutes. So if you're going to be in the water, um, if you're going swimming or the beach or anything, I would definitely keep reapplying, like I said. But if you're going to be, like, splashed a little bit, I don't think that it's going to bother this. But if, you know, you're sweating a lot, I would definitely say reapply as well. Uh, this one is SPF 30, like I said, uh, Warm Sun Island Breezes Luxurious Lotions, Heavenly Scent Hawaiian Tropics. Uh, lotion has antioxidants that nourish the skin and island botanicals that soothe and pamper. Our unique formula delivers proven UVA and UVB protection so your skin is soft and looks radiant. So, who wouldn't want that, right? Um, same thing, it smells like... Hawaiian Tropics. It smells really good. It doesn't feel greasy on your skin. I don't like the ones that, you know, make you feel like you're going to slip and slide wherever you go. So this is a really good one. I have the same version um, in a bigger one just for the 15, for the days that, like I said, I'm not going to be out in the sun too long. Same thing, um, same smell and everything. This one is also for 80 minutes. And then, I'm sorry, I said no more face, but I forgot one thing. Um, this is the Oil Lay Complete All Day Moisture Cream with Sunscreen. This one is Broad Spectrum SPF. This is their sensitive version. They have um, several different creams, you know, just normal white moisturizing cream. I really like this one to wear under my makeup because I noticed that it definitely doesn't um, make my makeup apply any different. It keeps everything protected still and hydrated. And I don't feel like I'm too slippery or too greasy or like it makes my skin get greasy faster when I have makeup on. So I really enjoy this one and I definitely would recommend this one. Another one um, for everyday protection, not so much like if you're going to be standing in the sun for a long time, is the Eucerin one. It has everyday protection body lotion, SPF 15, clinically proven effective to moisturize and protect from everyday sun exposure antioxidant enriched and fragrance free so I really do like this one too um, it does make my skin feel very moisturized it's not like a heavy cream moisturize I definitely feel the lotion part of it I would say you know it, if you're gonna be out some of the other ones like maybe the Hawaiian Tropic might be better I'm just gonna open it because it won't come out so, you know, just normal. It doesn't have an offensive fragrance. It doesn't smell like you're putting perfume on you. It definitely smells really good. To get out the door quick, I sometimes grab this and put it on my kids whenever we get to our destination or on their way out to school. Sometimes if I don't have time or wash my hands or anything, just spritz them up. It says, won't run into eyes and sting. It's water resistance for 80 minutes and this is uh, SPF 50. And then my daughter takes um, this one or the Copper Tone Babies one. They're both uh, 55. Uh, it's just a little stick. She takes this one to school with her just in case, you know, she she tends to burn a lot right under here due to her fair skin. So um, she just, you know, add, applies more of it throughout the day because I'm not there to help her. These are really great for the face especially too. Um, for wet skin... I did get the Neutrogena line for the wet skin. This one is SPF 70 for beach and pool, and this one is also SPF 70. Full strength protection, wet or dry, hypoallergenic, water resistance for 80 minutes. And the Neutrogena line made this up because after your kids are swimming and you want to reapply instead of having to dry them off and get them out, you can actually spray this over their wet skin. Um, it, it does work. But it does kind of leave this white film because it's just sitting on top of the wet skin. So I still tend to dab my kids off and then spray this. Um, but they haven't burned with it or anything, so it does work. I just don't really think that you can just spray this on them with their really wet skin and it's going to work. But I do really like having this for the face because if they are still a little wet, this is definitely a lot better because instead of spraying it on you're actually just using the balm to, you know, rub it in and get it all over their face. So I really enjoy the stick of the wet skin. 
The next one I have is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in 55 SPF. This one says lightweight, clean feel, fast absorbing, water resistant for 80 minutes. I like to hydrate our skin when we come home, keep its moisture on. Sometimes lotion just doesn't feel like as cooling and comforting when you've been out in the sun all day, especially if you do get sunburn. Lotion actually, some lotions, not all, but can actually sting it and make it worse because it's so hot that it makes it so that it can't breathe and it can't release all of the burning sensation and everything else. So aloe vera is wonderful. I am waiting for an order from Vitacost to get the more natural aloe vera from John's, I believe it is. Um, it looks really good. It says it works good with the reviews, but this is, you know, what is normal for everybody that is easy to access right away if you need something. Um, a real aloe vera plant, too, does wonders if you have a real aloe vera plant or know someone who does. Um, but this one is the light, fresh fragrance of the Pure Aloe Vera Ac Extract Smooths and Replenishes. This one is from Banana Boat, and I do love the smell of this. It's just like super aloe and takes you back to when you were like 10, 11 years old and you got burned and your parents put this on you and oh, I love the green gel slimy stuff. <laughs> um, this one is Fruit of the Earth. It contains no alcohol. So this is the one I would actually put on my children um, so that there's nothing chemical wise going into their skin. You know, you just want a nice pure, um, sometimes if the green one is too offensive for you and your sensitive skin it can kind of do the same thing kind of burn it a little bit so I do like this one because there is no alcohol in it and I don't find it hurting their skin more this one is a hundred percent gel pure no color added moisturizing therapy for sunburn dry skin or irritated skin so you can actually oh mine is so yucky looking um, you can actually use it for other things as well but this one yeah, no fragrance to this one at all. Just a nice clear one. It absorbs really fast into the skin. Um, it doesn't leave it feeling gross, but it has that nice cooling feeling still on the skin. So I really enjoy this one, especially for my kids. The last one is my favorite. <laughs> um, it helps keep your skin moisturized as well as that cooling aloe feeling. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Ultra Hydrating Lotion and Soothing Aloe Gel. This is the smell of coconut and papaya. Uh, it says 24 hour moisturizing, uh, refreshing ribbons. You can't tell as much because as you can tell, I'm almost done with it, but I have a little one that you can kind of see better. There's ribbons in here that are actually the moisturizing ribbons and it's just amazing. It feels like you're putting lotion on and aloe at the same time but it doesn't feel heavy like lotion and it doesn't feel too slimy like sometimes aloe can feel sticky you know if it's if it's not absorbed or you put too much of it this one I just love this one is amazing it smells heavenly it smells like coconuts and the beach and Hawaii and oh, it smells so good um, but I really like it. It does leave your skin moisturized. I definitely don't feel dry. If I do get burned, I notice that it kind of helps with the burn faster. It helps to keep it, um, heal it faster, heal your skin, and um, less peeling. So that's great. So I really enjoy this one, and I really recommend this one for anybody, but especially the adults and women. Um, my husband used this, and you know, it's kind of girly smelling. But they do have another one that is not coconut and papaya. I think it's just, maybe it's just coconut. I'm not sure. It doesn't have the ribbons. It's just a plain green aloe vera one by the Hawaiian, Hawaiian Tropics. So I really enjoy this one. I really enjoy this one. And these are probably my two sun favorites for the skin. And then, of course, um, Olay as well under my makeup. And then, of course, just the Copper Tone Kids. But for the kids, I would say Neutrogena is my favorite for them. It doesn't leave them greasy. It absorbs. It keeps them safe and without harm. And I think this one feels like it lasts on the skin the longest. 
Um, so I hope that that helped you um, with a few of the items on the market for sun care and sunscreen. I know that, you know, summertime coming, there's so many times you're going to be out at the park and you may not think about it. Um, even on a cloudy day, you can actually really get a lot of sun. It's wonderful to stay in the sun, but it's also wonderful to walk away knowing that your skin is okay. You didn't do any damage to it and, you know, your kids especially, when they go to school, don't think about it as much, but they go to recess, they go to lunch, and they're out in the sun a lot too. So if you're going to be anywhere in the sun, I definitely suggest, you know, stocking up on your sunscreen and then if you do get burned, do your aftercare. It's going to feel great. I hope you all have a good summer. And please let me know down below what your favorite sunscreen is. Maybe there are some that I haven't tried yet and I think I would really like. Let me know and I will go ahead and try it. Thank you so much for watching and please like this video if you like the topic of sunscreen. <laughs> have a good day everybody. Bye.